Opening day in Detroit. We are back on the field. Very excited. Tigers and Red Sox today at 110. Uh, the Tigers send out Spencer Turnbull. And, of course, the uh, Boston Red Sox will send out Chris Sale. Let me bring in Daniela Bruce. You know her perhaps from the Red Wings broadcast, and now you will hear her on the Tigers broadcast. The first woman to be on the Red Wings broadcast and will be the first woman to be on the Tigers broadcast as well. Danielle, welcome. And what does that mean to you? It's hard to put into words how much that means to me because I grew up here in Detroit. I've always been a Detroit girl. I went to school at Michigan State, so I've never really left the area. And it's a dream come true to be the first woman to do it. But more so just to do it in general, looking at the fact that I'm the first woman, obviously it's an honor, but this organization has supported me through and through from the very beginning. So I'm really excited for it. I love working with Ken Cal and Dan Dickerson. They're two of the best in the business. So it's going to be an exciting Tigers year. I'm excited for it. No doubt we're very yeah. blessed to have some great play by play. Oh my play. gosh, the best. <laughs> the best. I mean, Ken Kellen, of course, Dan Dickerson. Um, who were some of the inspirations you had growing up? Well, as a young woman, of course, I looked up to Jennifer Hammond. I actually interned at Fox 2, so how full circle is this right now in 2015? I was Jen's shadow for a summer, so that was a lot of fun, and she taught me a lot about the industry. She still helps me out. And of course, I'm Shannon Hogan, who was a then Fox Sports Detroit reporter, now works for the Islanders. She's at the MSG Network out there, and she's been one of my biggest mentors through all of this. I still talk to her regularly and she's really guided me through the industry so those two have a big part in it that is so awesome yeah. how difficult or different will this be with the pitch clock this year <laughs> yeah because, you know uh, in years past uh, you'd talk on the radio or television or whatever and have all the time in the world to kind of share a story or something, but it's go, go, go now. Hey, hey I'm not complaining. <laughs> I like that. The sped-up game is great. I love it. And I think what I should clarify is that I'll be doing Tigers Radio in a reporter role sure. alongside Dan Dickerson and Jim Price. So trying to pick my spots to come in is going to be difficult. It's going to be a learning process, but we're going to have fun with it. That's the point. I'm here to bring some fun to the, to the broadcast, to bring some stories that might not have otherwise been told, right? Get to know these players off the field a little bit too so we'll find our spots we will i promise you that <laughs> and there's a lot of new players this year a lot of new faces mm -hmm. uh and they come home with two wins and six contests mm -hmm. uh so far what should the realistic expectations be for the tigers this year is it to compete every night what what what, what are we looking at this year well yes obviously it is to compete every night but it's also to take some steps forward than we saw last season right they want to win more games than they did last year and they want to build a better team chemistry they want to be better in the hitting category, right? Last year, you saw them struggle in the box, and that wasn't just one player. That was down the lineup, and we're already seeing that improve, even from the Tampa Bay series to the Houston series, that improved. Spencer Torkelson looks great. Riley Green looks great. So it's about development and taking that step forward. Matt Veerling and Nick Maton, they're best friends. They're great additions to the team. They have a championship experience under their belt, so I think this team's really exciting, and I think the whole city should be excited for a step forward, and that's what your expectation should be. Daniela Bruce, you'll hear uh, the Tigers right Radio Network pre, post, throughout the game uh, in, in several different roles uh, that you will have throughout the season. Uh, thanks so much for joining us and uh, all the best. Thank you so much. Happy opening day, everybody. Absolutely. Happy opening day. We're